table tennis or ping pong is now getting a bit of a resurgence because it used to be popular years and years ago. You talked about in people's garages, but actually it used to be in workplaces, it used to be in holiday parks, it used to be in youth centres everywhere. It had a bit of a downtime for a little while, uh, but now it's got to be a reinsurgence and people are finding their love again for the game. And with the last few years of tables popping up all across London and other cities up and down the country, people are just going, actually, I remember how much I love this game and want to play. And so as you can see behind us, people are just enjoying themselves, socialising, out for a night out. It's something different to do as well, rather than just the usual go to the pub and have a drink. You can uh, socialise with your friends and actually have some fun with it as well. We're trying to get the country moving because it's kind of low impact. You don't need any specialist equipment. It's very active. You, whether you're nine years old or 90 years old, you can still play the game. And a lot of people have played in their childhood, not really known where to catch up and play again. But Pongathon's doing its bit to, you know, give it some accessibility, uh, some fun. We do a lot of parties and team building. So really, it's um, it's getting the country moving around ping pong. It's National Table Tennis Day on July the 16th. The whole country hopefully will uh, have a paddle in hand. But Pongathon have been charged with trying to kind of get people together at, um, at the Granary Building at uh, St Martin's College for the longest serve in the world, which is our kind of uh, bit for National Table Tennis Day. And we're going to see if we can break a world record.